Thanks for joining us as we look ahead to the winter of 2025-2026. After several mild winters, early signs suggest a much colder season is on the way. This isn't just about bundling up. Colder winters impact heating bills, travel, and even the economy. Understanding what's coming helps us prepare and avoid surprises. In this video, we'll break down the science behind the forecast, focusing on major climate signals like La Nina and the Arctic Oscillation. We'll also compare this upcoming winter to recent years to show why it could be so different. Our goal, give you a clear practical look at what to expect and how to get ready. By the end you'll know why experts are buzzing about a colder season and how you can prepare. So grab a warm drink and let's dive in. Predicting winter months in advance means looking at the global climate puzzle, not just local weather. This involves understanding a complex web of interactions that span the entire planet, from the swirling winds high above to the deep ocean currents below. The key pieces are climate, signals, patterns in the ocean and atmosphere that shape weather worldwide. These signals act like clues, helping meteorologists piece together the larger picture of what the coming months might hold. The Pacific Ocean is especially influential, with El Niño and La Niña driving major changes. These phenomena can alter weather patterns across continents, affecting everything from rainfall to temperature. These events shift the jet stream, the high-altitude wind that steers storms and cold air. The jet stream acts like a highway in the sky, guiding weather systems and influencing where they go and how intense they become. But there are other players the Arctic Oscillation, and North Atlantic Oscillation, which control how much cold air escapes the polar regions. These oscillations can lead to dramatic shifts in weather, bringing unexpected cold snaps or mild spells. When the AO is negative, the polar vortex weakens, letting Arctic air spill south. This can lead to frigid temperatures and snowstorms in areas that might otherwise be mild. Meteorologists use computer models and real-time data to track these signals and project how they'll evolve. These models are sophisticated tools that simulate the atmosphere, helping scientists predict future weather patterns with increasing accuracy. It's a complex process, but understanding these drivers gives us a surprisingly clear idea of what winter may bring. By analyzing these patterns, meteorologists can provide forecasts that help people prepare for the season ahead. By watching these global clues, we can anticipate the season's overall character. This knowledge empowers communities to make informed decisions, from stocking up on supplies to planning travel. Let's look at the biggest signal this year, La Nina. This phenomenon is characterized by cooler than average sea surface temperatures in the central and eastern Pacific Ocean, and it can have far-reaching effects on global weather patterns, influencing everything from droughts to hurricanes. This winter, La Nina is making a grand return to the global stage, and meteorologists everywhere are taking notice. After a brief absence, the climate phenomenon is back in action, and its presence is already being felt across the Pacific Ocean, and it's expected to be strong. Forecasts suggest this could be one of the more significant La Nina events in recent years, with the potential to shape weather patterns around the world. La Nina means cooler than average waters in the central and eastern Pacific, which triggers a global chain reaction. These colder waters disrupt the normal flow of heat and moisture, setting off a domino effect that can influence weather thousands of miles away. The jet stream, which acts like a river of air high above the Earth, becomes more wavy and unpredictable. This allows frigid Arctic air to plunge much farther south than usual, reaching deep into the northern US and Canada. That's why La Nina winters are often colder and snowier in these regions. Cities from Minneapolis to Montreal can expect more frequent snowstorms, icy winds, and extended cold snaps, making winter weather more intense and challenging. The Pacific Northwest and Northern Rockies usually get more snow, blanketing forests and mountains in white. Meanwhile, the southern U.S. tends to be warmer and drier, with less rain and a higher risk of drought conditions developing in places like Texas and Florida. In Europe, La Nina can help set up blocked patterns that lead to cold spells, especially in the north and west. These patterns can trap cold air over the continent, bringing frosty mornings and even rare snowfalls to cities that don't usually see much winter weather. This year's La Nina is shaping up to be moderate to strong, meaning its impact will be felt more widely and more intensely. 
Weather experts are already seeing early signs of shifting patterns, and they're preparing for a season of surprises. When La Nina dominates, it can override other climate factors and set the tone for the entire winter. Its influence can be so powerful that it becomes the main driver of global weather, affecting everything from winter storms to rainfall and even hurricane activity. That's why forecasters are watching it so closely, using advanced computer models and satellite data to track its every move. They know that understanding La Nina is key to predicting what this winter will bring. Let's see what other signals could amplify its effects and how this powerful climate force might interact with other patterns to shape the months ahead. While La Nina is the main player this season, it's important to remember that other climate signals are also at work, quietly shaping the winter ahead. These signals interact in complex ways, sometimes amplifying or even counteracting each other, and together they help determine just how cold, snowy, or unpredictable the coming months might be. One of the most crucial of these is the Arctic Oscillation, or AO. When the AO is negative, the polar vortex, a swirling mass of cold air high above the Arctic, tends to weaken. This allows frigid Arctic air to spill southward, reaching areas that might otherwise stay milder. The result? Sudden cold snaps and even record-breaking low temperatures in parts of North America, Europe, and Asia. Interestingly, the amount of snow that falls over Siberia in the autumn can actually give us clues about the AO's behavior. When Siberian snow cover is extensive, it often signals a higher chance of a negative AO, which means a greater risk of deep freezes and harsh winter conditions for many regions. Another key player is the North Atlantic Oscillation, or NAO. This pattern is especially influential for winter weather in Europe and the eastern United States. When the NAO turns negative, it can bring more frequent and intense cold spells, along with heavier snowfall, making winter storms more likely and more severe. The Atlantic Multidecadal Oscillation, or AMO, is a slower-moving ocean cycle that can last for decades. Right now, the AMO is in a phase that tends to favor colder winters, adding yet another layer to this season's chilly outlook. And even though the planet's warming overall, a warmer Arctic can actually disrupt the jet stream, causing it to become wavier and less stable. This can lead to more frequent and intense cold outbreaks, as frigid air is pushed much farther south than usual, surprising regions that might not be prepared. So, as we look ahead to this winter, we're seeing a rare combination, a strong La Nina, the potential for a negative AO, and ocean patterns like the AMO all aligning. This unique setup increases the odds for a much colder and more dynamic winter than we've seen in recent years. It's an unusual alignment of climate signals, one that hasn't occurred in quite some time. In fact, you'd have to look back several years to find a winter with a similar setup, and even then, the details were different. That's why this winter could feel like a real shock, especially for those who have grown accustomed to milder, less snowy seasons. Many people may find themselves caught off guard by the intensity of the cold and the amount of snow that could fall. So, how does this winter compare to those of the recent past? The answer may surprise you, as we could be in for a season that stands out for its cold, its storms, and its unpredictability. Recent winters have been mild, thanks to El Niño or neutral conditions. The last few years saw fewer Arctic outbreaks, less snow, and lower heating bills. The winter of 2023-2024 was a classic example. Brief cold snaps, but mostly mild. This year, the setup is different. A strong La Niña, plus the potential for a negative AO. When these signals align, we get longer, harsher cold spells instead of quick warm-ups. Expect more persistent cold, especially in the north, and the possibility of record-breaking lows. For many, this could be the coldest winter in years, maybe even a lifetime. It's a throwback to the classic winters of decades past. The key message, don't expect a repeat of recent mild seasons. Preparation will be more important than ever. In North America, a strong La Nina means big contrasts. The North will see more cold and snow, with the jet stream steering storms into the Pacific Northwest and Rockies. Expect deep snowpacks in the mountains, great for skiing, tough for travel. The upper Midwest, Great Lakes and Northeast should brace for more days below freezing and dangerous wind chills. Lake effect snow could hit hard in cities like Buffalo and Cleveland. The central U.S. will see wild swings, blizzards, ice storms, and rapid temperature changes. Farmers and ranchers need to prepare for sudden storms and protect livestock. Meanwhile, the southern U.S. will be warmer and drier, 
raising drought and wildfire risks. While the North shovels, the South faces its own weather challenges. All of this is orchestrated by La Nina's powerful influence. La Nina's reach extends to Europe and Asia, but the effects are more complex. In Europe, La Nina can help set up blocking patterns that bring Arctic air south, leading to prolonged cold and snow. The UK, France, Germany and Scandinavia could see much harsher winters than usual. Past La Nina years brought memorable cold waves. This year could repeat that pattern. In Asia, a strong La Nina often means a powerful Siberian high, unleashing brutal cold across northern China. Korea, and Japan. Even regions that rarely see snow could get a taste of winter's extremes. Southern and Southeast Asia may see wetter conditions, increasing flood risks. One climate signal can trigger everything from deep freezes in Berlin to heavy rain in Jakarta. La Nina's global impact will define this winter for billions. Let's talk about how to get ready. With a colder winter likely, preparation is key. Start with your home, check your heating system, seal drafts, and insulate windows and doors. Make sure everyone has proper winter gear, coats, boots, hats, and gloves. Build emergency kits for home and car blankets, flashlights, food, water, and chargers. For your car, check tires, battery, and keep a shovel, scraper, and extra warm clothes handy. Always keep your gas tank at least half full in winter. Stay informed. Follow local forecasts and sign up for emergency alerts. Smart planning can turn a winter crisis into a minor inconvenience. Don't wait for the first storm. Prepare now. A little effort now means a safer, warmer season. Let's wrap up with the big picture. The signals are clear. A colder, more intense winter is coming for much of the northern hemisphere. La Nina, possibly joined by a negative Arctic oscillation, is setting the stage for prolonged cold and heavy snow. This is a sharp contrast to the mild winters we've seen recently. For North America, expect classic cold and snow in the north, drought in the south. Europe and Asia could see persistent cold and major disruptions, but this isn't a reason to panic, it's a call to prepare. Simple steps, servicing your heating, winterizing your home and car and staying informed, make all the difference. Preparation turns a harsh winter into a manageable one. By getting ready now, you can face whatever this season brings with confidence. Let's embrace the chill and make this winter a safe, memorable one.